hi guys welcome back well unfortunately this time i have to make a video indoors because it's very windy today here on tessel and i don't think you would hear anything i would have to say if i would make this video outside so therefore just an inside video this time apologies for that today i would like to talk a little bit about how to train your dog for long distance hiking true hiking longer day hikes all that kind of hikes and uh, a quick disclaimer first, I am not an expert and this is just the way how I train my dogs for longer hiking, through hiking and long distance day hiking. So um, it does not mean that it works for your dog as well, but maybe it can give you some tips and information. You can get some ideas about what you can do to train your dog, but always look at your dog, what his or her needs are. And um, of course, the area you live in, the um, area you're hiking in, the surroundings, the weather, those things all do matter in regards to your training. So always take a look at your personal um, situation. Tip number one, start basic training early. Most people get their dog when they are a week old puppy. And for me, that's one of the best times you can have with your dog. I absolutely love having a puppy in, in the house. But of course that means that your dog is no way near ready to go hiking with you. Of course your dog has to go out, but hiking, long distance trails, not to think about yet. That's for way far future. But that doesn't mean that you can't do anything in regards to hiking training. Because there's a lot you can do as soon as you get your puppy. For example, take your dog out and let him get used to things. For example, grass, stones, sand beach bridges stuff like that get to know your dog familiar with these undergrounds where he or she is going to be hiking on when he or she is old enough it's very important that those things are familiar to your dog and then when he is old enough to go on a hike it's not a surprise for them or her or anything they should get used to those are things that you can practice when they are very young. Um, you can also practice, for example, when you're hiking, like us in the Netherlands, we do not have real wilderness here. So we pass a lot of restaurants. We are often able to take a break on a terrace or something for a lunch or just something to drink. Take your dog to a terrace as soon as you got him. Do some training there. Learn him how to behave there. Treat him well and make sure that it becomes a party to going outside with you because i think that is one of the most important things if you want to have a good hiking dog later make sure that everything you go every time you go out together is one big party number two wait until your dog is one year old until you start making longer hikes and I know this is hard because when you got your dog, you would like to take him out so badly, enjoying nature together, exploring the outdoors. Well, there's nothing better to do together, is there? But it's so important that you wait until your dog is one year old. And it doesn't mean that you can't take your dog out. Of course, you can build it up until he's one year old. But for really long distance hiking, longer day hikes, it's so important to wait until your dog is one year old because dogs grow mostly the whole first year of their lives and it depends on how big or how small your dog is going to be when he or she is an adult but the first year they all grow it is so important to give your dog the time to grow and i know it's hard in the beginning but it will benefit both of you in a later stage because when you start hiking too early it will cause some damage to your dog and you cannot see it and your dog probably will not show at a younger age, but when they get older, problems will occur. And then you might think, well, maybe I should have waited until he was a year old. So please do so. And uh, it's for the sake of your dog for a later age and also for your hiking fun and your outdoor fun for years and years to come. Number three, learn your dog trail commands and signs in the meantime. So that's also a good practice until your dog is able to go out on longer trails because a lot of uh, commands and signs you can also learn without being on a hike. For example, learning your dog to stay behind you when you're going down on a steep hill, for example. Um, jumping over little fences, um, learning to wait until you call him to watch you because sometimes that may be good too. For example, for you're having a river crossing or something, that your dog is able to wait on one of the shores, you can cross the river and when you are 
on the other side, you find out that it's safe, then you can give your dog the commands or a sign to come towards you and cross the river as well. So those kind of things are great to learn in the first year. Number four, make sure that you train properly. So do not think, well, now my dog's one year old, let's go on a 20 kilometer hike. No, that does not work either. And that will still cause damage to your dog on a later age. So what I mean with train properly is really start building it up. Start with a small hike, one kilometer. Sounds stupid and it's not always fun, but it's for the benefits for later. And then you start building it up two kilometers. If that goes well, do three kilometers. If that goes well, four. And then you build up. I start building up hikes longer than around seven kilometers when they are one year old. So until they are one year old, I do hikes until seven kilometers, but make sure with that to know that I live in the Netherlands, it's flat. So um, that's of course easier to do than when you're living in a country with a lot of high mountains. So take a look at that as well, regards where you live. And um, when my dog's one year old, between one and one and a half to two years old, that's the time I take to get my dog onto full um, length of hikes. So until they are able to hike 15 or 20 kilometers, they are at least two years old. So really take that time to build it up. Number five, make every hike a little party. And that is so important. And I just saw on all my dogs that Making each hike a party makes it so much fun to do together and each and every dog I had absolutely loved going with me on the trail because I made it a party. I bring things that they absolutely love when they are a young dog, choose something as a reward that is absolutely jackpot for them. For Ravi, for example, that's cheese. And when he was a young dog, I always had a bag of cheese in my pocket. So whenever he does something right, I always treat him. Make sure that the hike that you're doing is fun for your dog. And for example, Ravi loves to swim. What I do, I make a lot of my hikes myself. I make sure that we pass water so that he can have a swim during the break or just while we're hiking, jumping in a little stream or something before we continue. So it's a party, always fun. And if the hike doesn't bring anything to the dog, he or she will not enjoy it either. For example, I can go hike in the city of Amsterdam. Well, I like it there, but I'm pretty sure Ravi doesn't. So make a party for your dog out of each trail and make sure that he's absolutely going to love it. Number six, learn your dog how to camp. If you are planning to do long distance hiking, multiple day hikes, overnighters, any kind of hike that involves camping, make sure that your dog is familiar with camping before you go out on the trail. Make sure that you've got a proper tent that's suitable to stay in with a dog and then start camping. When I start camping, the first time I camp is always in my backyard, my own backyard or my parents' backyard. That's just the first step I take, getting the dog familiar with the tent, getting him to know it. And same with my previous tip, make sure that it's a party. Make the tent a fun thing, make it enjoyable to go in there and just to be there with you. So that it's just, it's fun. As soon as Ravi sees a tent, I'm probably don't even have time to uh, blow up my air mattress because Ravi is already in there if I give him the chance. So make it fun for the dog and learn him how to camp and when it goes well in your back garden well make a small overnighter just a little micro adventure book a campsite in a village nearby just walk a few kilometers and go night go a night camping just for the experience getting your dog familiar with camping it's really absolutely important because of course well here in the netherlands you're never alone on a campsite so it's so important that your dog knows how to behave as well so that's a good thing to practice as well. And this can also be done in the first year that your dog is with you. Number seven, don't forget to do tryouts. Well, that's actually a little bit what I mentioned in my previous tip. Uh, go to a campsite nearby, try everything out and not only the camping, but also try out your gear. Make sure that it is suitable for you and your dog to spend the night in together because a tent might be fine for you, but does it offer enough space for both of you or maybe even the three of you when you're having two dogs with you? You know, those try out weekends are great to test these kind of things because 
it's no fun when you're out on a trail and um, finding out that a gear does not work and that that really spoils the hike. So make sure you know your gear, make sure it works for both of you and that you're happy with it. Those tryout weekends are absolutely great for that. That brings me to number eight. Make sure that you have decent gear for your dog. Not only you should be comfortable on the trail, but also your dog. So make sure that you have your own bed for your dog, his water bowl, his food bowl, but getting to know him to know his trail food. Ravi has different food on the trail that he has at home. So make sure that your dog is familiar with it, that he's really liking it, that your dog has a comfortable place to sleep in that he also finds comfortable because you can buy a hundred dollar sleeping bag for a dog, but if your dog doesn't like it, it does not work. And again, also good to try these on the tryout nights. And if you have decent gear for your dog, it will make the hike a lot more comfortable for him or her as well. Number nine, make sure to behave well on trail, both of you. And maybe that sounds a little bit hard, but unfortunately I see a lot of hikers with a dog who absolutely do not know how to behave. They have the dog off leash where it's not allowed. They let their dog run up to dogs who are on leash. Dogs do not know their commands. They do not get back when they are being called. Um, when you are out on a campsite, they run around other people's tents and everything. Make sure that you train your dog and that you've been trained yourself about that as well. Don't let your dog hike his own hike. No, you hike it together. Make sure that you behave well and make sure that you clean up. Leave no trace principle for your dog as well. I know carrying full poopy bags is not always fun, but it is so important that we know that and that we do that in order to be staying welcome on trail because I see that happening here because people do not know how to behave. Areas are getting closed for dogs and you're not welcome anymore. And it is so important to behave well so that we will always be welcome to enjoy the outdoors together with our dog. And number 10, once you're out on the trail, don't forget to enjoy your time together. In my opinion, being out in the outdoors is absolutely the best time you can spend together with your dog. It is so amazing to see how much fun it brings to Ravi, how happy he is, just the sparkle in his eyes and the happiness he shows when I'm packing my backpack. Make sure that you make a party out of it, like I said, and enjoy your time together. It's absolutely the best time. Well, that was it for today. I hope this video was a little bit helpful and that it could give you some ideas, information, whatever you need in order to be able to train and make your dog a perfect hiking dog. And for now, I will say enjoy the outdoors and we will catch you on the next trail. Goodbye.